everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs this is going to be for Scorpios Sun Moon and Rising for those of you guys interested in private consultations definitely look at the description box below I want to wish you guys a very happy Hallows Eve happy Halloween I encourage you guys to be safe out there and try the best you can to enjoy uh, this holiday okay so anyways let's get into this reading this is going to be for Scorpios like I said regarding your love life Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the mid-month of October 2017. Spirit, what are the messages for Scorpios for the mid-month of October 2017? Spirit, what are the messages for Scorpios regarding their love life for the mid-month of October 2017? Also, I do want to mention um, the videos that get the most views or the most comments are going to be the first videos to come up when... Uh, the beginning of the month starts and moving forward um so just wanted to let you guys uh, know so definitely comment below i encourage you guys to comment uh share and like the videos if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and again like i said the videos that get the most views or the most comments are going to be the first videos to come up um for the next reading okay oh you have cards popping out already all right let's get into your reading scorpio Oh, wow. Okay. So you have the seven of wands here. You, you have the uh, high priestess. You have the emperor and the moon card. Those are your cards, and this is how you're viewing the situation or your relationship with the person you're currently with or the person that is uh, coming towards you. I will be pulling out cards in reference to your partner and how your partner views the situation or the person that you're interested in romantically wise so their cards already popped out it's the five of wands then the empress card here the five of pentacles and the ace of wands okay spirit please give me the current situation card please give me the current situation card for scorpios for the mid month of october 2017 regarding the love life current situation all right, your current situation is the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords, uh, Scorpios, is um, this is a current situation. So perhaps you feel that your general energy or the energy surrounding your relationship, um, the Five of Swords definitely brings a feeling of uh, having petty arguments or not really trying to understand other people's perspectives. Uh, this is more ego-based. Um, the Five of Swords is definitely going to war um, or the fighting of words or thoughts because uh, the air, uh, sorry, the swords is an air energy, which is communication. So it's arguments, um, petty arguments or, or um, miscommunication with other people and almost going towards it uh, almost in a vengeful, vengeful type of a manner. Um, and ultimately, again, like I said, the five of swords is definitely ego-based. So you need to watch that. Uh, for the the mid month going all the way to November, um, understand and know that sometimes it takes a bigger person to be able to walk away from an argument. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that they won. It just it just means that you're the mature one. Okay, so try to keep that in mind, Scorpio. All right, so let's get to your uh, reading. So you have the Seven of Wands here. The Seven of Wands uh, speaks about. Um, you feel very defensive right now at the present time in reference to your partner or how you're viewing them. Um, again, having a lot of arguments or miscommunications. Um, it's almost the approach of having the seven of uh, having the seven of wands, but in reverse. That's the energy I'm getting. So, with the seven of uh, wands in reverse, usually in the upright position, it, 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 I usually suggest for you to stand your ground and definitely don't back down. Um, in regards to how you're feeling. Uh, don't allow other people to tell you how you feel or what's right, uh, it, depending on the situation, if you have the right to feel the way you do. Um, this basically in an upright position, it represents you have the right to feel what you're feeling and you have the right to stand on your own two feet and not back down from either a conversation, a situation or something where uh, even your reputation could be at stake. 
but I feel that it's in the reverse position. So in the reverse position, it usually signifies uh, being a little bit selfish um, in regards to your partner or how you view your partner. So at the present time, you're viewing your partner as being a little bit demanding or a little bit selfish, um, maybe them not understanding you completely. But again, like I said, because it is in reverse position, it's not really like you're in the right to feel that way. It's again, ego based. So it has to do with selfishness. Okay. So try to watch for that, uh, the middle of the month. Now you do have the high priestess here and the high priestess definitely speaks about things that are hidden, but it can also speak about your intuition or tapping into your intuition. Um, try the best you can again, not to be running off of ego base. So if you feel that someone's talking behind your back, um, try the best you can not to be very quick to judge them because the high priestess does speak about hidden, but it can also represent you being blinded by uh, confusing your intuition with ego based. So what that means is it's kind of like I said, having the or feeling like people are speaking uh, behind your back and being quick to judge them. And you can swear by it that it's your intuition telling you that. But in reality, it's just your animosity or anger towards them that is you're making your mind think that. So it's like you're not having good grounds to be so judgmental, okay? Now, the emperor is right next to the moon, which is a very odd type of energy. And the reason why I say that is because the emperor is all about having structure. Um, it's all about the being very, uh, you know, fatherly figure type of energy. And this is, these are your cards. So this is how you're viewing your partner. Now, the emperor is, again, a person that is very responsible, a person you're viewing your partner as very strict. OK, so it could come off as um, very strict. It could come off as feeling like uh, they're just about work. Um, but the moon here is definitely talking about, again, intuition. Um, so with the high priestess and the moon, I feel that for some of you Scorpios, you guys may be uh, suppressing uh, emotions or feelings, um, not, not really expressing them to your partner. And it could have to do in regards to uncertainty or it can have to do in regards to feeling like it's actually you that is keeping secrets or is, you know, being sneaky about a certain situation. It could be in regards to um, almost kind of like... Uh, expressing to them a certain opinion um but expressing it so often that you're what you're trying to do is not really sh share your opinion it's more so you trying to persuade them to give you the right um or to see things from your perspective and you need to understand that you can't do that uh, because they will be able to see through that they'll be able to pick up on you know, that sneaky type of pattern or that sneaky type of behavior. So be very careful with that, uh, Scorpio. Now, how your partner is viewing the situation, again, you have the five of wands here. So you guys have a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of negative energy, a lot of fighting and bickering. Um, the five of wands can also represent um, that they're very focused um, in, it could also represent that you're expecting so much from them. And with the five of wands, this is a represent, it could be a representation of the work that they have. Perhaps they feel like they're very, they have to be very competitive at work uh, or the people that they work with. It's like a lot of people trying to achieve a goal um, and almost to the point of kind of like, um, like sales would be a perfect example where uh, they go off of commission and it's like everyone's trying to fight uh, to, to do better, you know? Um, and this is how your partner is viewing the situation. So again, it could be the fact that their energy is completely focused on work at the present time. And the reason why they're so focused um, at work could be the fact that they are either trying the best they can um, to provide a better lifestyle for both of you guys, or it could be that, in fact, they are actually, um, you know, wanting to tap into that abundance type of energy, the, the long lasting, the stability, that's what they're looking for. That's their main goal and achievement. Um, and again, doing so or putting all their energy and focus on this, the five of coins is right under the emperor. So one, someone is feeling left out in this relationship. It could be you or it could be your partner. It is a general reading, but it's almost like they don't, you feel like they don't understand you or you feel, or they feel, sorry, 
that you're not emotionally supporting them. It's like instead of giving them peace and calmness, if in fact they are um, having a lot of stress, a lot of competition at work, it could be that they're feeling like you're not emotionally supporting them, like you're not understanding where they're coming from. And ultimately, at the end of the day, in any type of relationship, if someone is trying to achieve a goal in order to manifest abundance, growth, and stability, obviously it's going to affect you. So the best thing you could do is be their calmness, be their serenity, um, be the one thing that can bring or provide to them uh, peace and harmony instead of, you know, kind of like them dealing with uh, stress, uh, stressful situations at work or confrontations even at work. And then they come to feeling like you're just judging them, um, like you don't understand where they're coming from or like you literally feel lonely, like being in a relationship, but you actually feel like you're alone. So a lot of the times, um, again, like I said, I definitely do see progress for you guys because I do see the ace here, the ace of wands. So the ace of wands could be a representation of the relationship taking a newness to it, um, uh, some type of re-energized type of energy coming back. But the moon card is crowning this ace of uh, wands. So what this represents is um, at the present time, you know, um, obviously uh, the moon um, sorry, Jupiter is in Scorpio at the present time. So a lot of the times it could be that your passion, you know, your, your ignited passion is being sparked and you may feel, uh, some, like they're not giving you enough attention, but I definitely see that by the full moon, um, by October's full moon, um, you're definitely going to feel more re-energized. You're going to feel more connected to your partner. You're going to feel like the relationship is finally taking its you know, uh, so I guess full attention is going to be towards the relationship and working on that relationship. I also do see progress and advancement for you guys in regards to the physical plane. So what I mean by that is I do see progress in regards to uh, money and uh, material gains. So for some of you guys, if you guys have been dealing with, in fact, a partner that's been working a lot or working very long hours, and you're the one that's feeling at the present time like, they're just not giving you enough time. Try the best you can to be understanding and encourage them uh, to remain focused because ultimately it will definitely pay out in the end, okay? Now, for those of you guys that are currently single, um, I do see you guys um, being able to come to terms. By the end of the month, I definitely see two uh, people coming into your life. I do see um, an earth sign coming in. An earth sign could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Or I also see in a fire sign. So a fire sign would be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. And I feel that they're going to come into your life right at the pivotal moment when you are actually able to release anything that no longer serves you and detach yourself from uh, past relationships. Now, for some of you guys, it could mean um, the emperor and the moon could be that you finally get clarity in regards to your emotions from a person um, that you were dealing with in the past. Now, these are four singles, okay? So for those of you guys that are single or have been single for quite a while, perhaps there was a falling out, there was a miscommunication or a misunderstanding or an argument, but I definitely do feel that uh, for some of you guys, by the beginning of November, there's going to be someone reaching out, whether it's you or whether it's uh, the person that you were dealing with in the past, but someone in this relationship or in this connection definitely felt left out. So it could have been that they just completely stopped talking to you or you guys stop communicating with one another and you guys never really picked up after that. Um, but I definitely do see a message coming through and this message is being signified here with the Ace of uh, Wands uh, where there's going to be a communication or a message coming through and it could be even an invitation um, to meet or an invitation to see each other uh, that's probably going to be, you know, late at night. I don't want to say like, you know, a sexual type of energy, but then again, uh, Jupiter is in Scorpio. So, um, again, like I said, um, I definitely do see a communication coming in or someone reaching out, trying to give you an invitation. And again, it may happen, um, in the evening versus dur during the day. Okay. So anyways, I know this is going to apply to different people. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Comment, like, and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. 
and we will see each other at the beginning of the month. Okay, bye.